Hi, it's Portia here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I use resin, glitter, and Cricut vinyl to personalize this mug that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We are going to first measure out our epoxy resin. This is a one-to-one -one according to the brand that I'm using. I'm using a very small amount, 0.1 ounce for each. And once you have the two um, together, you go ahead and mix it. For me, I'm mixing for approximately two minutes. We don't want to end up with any sticky spots or uh, wet spots that won't dry after the eight hours. So just make sure you uh, mix it according to your directions. So we're putting a super thin layer on here because this is going to be the layer that we use to adhere our glitter. I'm using the stick that comes with my cup turner as well as the little foam. So this enables me to get around that whole cup with very little difficulty. And um, with this, I always um, sometimes forget the bottom and the handle. So these are the pieces that I go over really, really well so I don't end up with any uh, blank spots. Now, the fun part, you pretty much add the glitter in whatever pattern that you want. I was going for something organic. I didn't want it to look like um, like any kind of anything in particular. So I wanted peaks and valleys all through it. And I used two different glitters, the gold you just saw and then the iridescent. And so you pretty much get that on, make sure you get all the way around the entire cup. All right, so I let this sit for approximately eight hours. It's completely dry, and I'm just using 220 grit sandpaper to get out any lumps that stood out to me. So now I mixed up my second batch of the resin, and I got that real good. Got my turner on, and now we're just going to go ahead and pour this on. And this is going to be the layer before we actually add in our decals that I cut out of the glitter Cricut vinyl using this little squeegee to help me uh, get it on really, really well. All right, so I am going to use my heat gun to blow out any kind of bubbles. Um, you can kind of uh, hear them pop and see them popping. Um, but after that dries for another eight hours, I take some more sandpaper to it just to make sure that uh, my surface is nice and smooth and, you know, get it ready to move on to the next step, which is actually adding in our decal. So I cut this from Cricut Vinyl and I have my Butterfly Rose. If you haven't checked out that video, go ahead and check it out. So that's going to be on one side and then I'm going to personalize the cup with a name, Sindra Joy. And this I pretty much eyeballed, like no, no rhyme or reason to where I put it or how I put it. I just wanted to make sure that um, the whole thing got in there. In hindsight, it might have been a little bit too big, but that's alright, that's alright. <laughs> All right, let's do the other side. And again, I'm just eyeballing it. Um, I didn't want it to be like super, super duper precise, but the words are crooked, which is the only thing that was really, you know, important to me. All right, there we go. We are ready for our next step, which is our last and final coating of our epoxy resin. So let's get ready for that. All right, so we're back on our turner. Um, I am adding the resin one more time. And again, we want to make sure that we get it all over and that we don't miss any parts of me. Be sure to get that handle well and get that bottom well. Like I said, that is something that I tend to forget at times and I have to kind of go back in and try to fill those pieces in. So all throughout the process, I'm trying to make sure that I um, get all those parts done. And this time you see me using my hand instead of the squeegee because I want to feel to ensure that I got that epoxy all over. You actually can feel it. 
All right, guys, so that is pretty much all that I have for you today. If you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, please let me know. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to Color Me Portia. But until next time, peace.